spirituality which is not to be let go of because we are part of that heritage. He influenced and will influence many many souls especially in formation because his trilogy, those three great books which he wrote are everywhere in the libraries and seminaries of the Catholic world and able to form saints. I just want to leave you with two elements which can be of help to you because we were given this spirituality to nourish us when we were in formation in France. One is the relationship that the creature, that's us, who were not here, who are here and will not be here, we're here, we're contingent beings, we have no right to be here, we come and go, the rights of God over us. And he goes into it in this way, that the creature is linked to his maker through the virtue which we call religion. It comes, it seems, from to bind, belligare in Latin. The creature is bound to his creator, and the duties, therefore, of the creature is that of rendering, giving back. We owe nothing. And in practice, for the monk especially, but indeed for every human creature, it means getting our act together on one specific level. It's that of worship, worthship. The creature recognizing the worth of the one who made him. And therefore, in the monastic life specifically, but in the Christian life in general, the whole way that that is done is something which directly affects the creature and God. And God feels and appreciates what is authentic. Therefore, the whole notion of giving the maximum to God, which is what the monk does, only the best, and lots of it, makes sense. On earth what's happening is this. God, as supreme creator, is gaining that glory that he's gaining automatically in heaven from his court of angels from ourselves, who at that point are with the angels echoing their glory and chant. Now that's kind of important because we forget that. Right now we're out of geography, we're in extra territorial era areas which belong to heaven here on earth and therefore God has totally his rights in a place which he has claimed for his own and we are in that ambiance the angelic one right now to be remembered and the other is this he goes into the way in which God puts the creature in a situation where his providence will always provide what is needed for its sanctification. Therefore we can not say, I haven't got the conditions necessary and therefore I can't make it. I can't be a saint, I can't do it properly. It's not like that. 
God knows where we are and his providence has allowed us to be there. And in that situation, he tailors and adjusts and channels his graces to that situation so that there where we are, he is. So we right now, hic et non here and now, perceive what he is offering and elastically adapting. Now that's important because it gives us peace. Now he specifically goes into the area of e.g. the Benedictine who might have temptations to want to become, for instance, a hermit or a Carthusian or a whatever it might be, a Trappist, when in fact right there is a specific form of sanctity which is given to him a package which he just has to unpack. It's the same way we are. The lay person, the married person, has a package of graces adapted for that situation as a sanctity for each state. And we have to take that sanctity and not look over our shoulders for another one. That's where we are. There's a specific sanctity for a mother, a grandmother, a, whatever it might be, a student, anyone who's doing a specific work, there's a specific sanctity for that state of life. And that's what we're going to be examined on. So sanctity is very, very concrete. It's just doing well, maximally, but in that state of submission, the will of God, which here and now, is asking us to do one thing. What? He hands over to his creatures a tiny bit of his creation. That's our bit, our corner, do it well. If it's not done well, that part of the Lord's work will remain undone. Singed by rays felt during the singing of the old mass at Blessed Columbus altar in Ennis Corsi. What is a place, a spot upon the globe that onward turns and pauses for no man? What is it yet to wear an ancient robe and stand upon a step that stepping can from buried time yet hear? What is a stone hewn well to hold high force hid workings strange? What is, I say, a place to stand alone upon a land once known neath the old ray's range. Tis to be on a moving aeon still, unshoved by hurry's haste. Tis to lean on a second as it comes. Tis to let thrill old tingles that once passed. For here's redone a work that once worked well, and works again with ancient mastery. We thought to play